I grew up exploring trails as a kid, enjoyed running on trails better in middle school, high school. I don't know, I just feel a little more natural, it was a little more fun. That sense of accomplishment, like when you get to the top of a climb, you have this beautiful view. It was so unique and so rewarding. It's just the excitement of exploring a new, new area, a new landscape. It's just a different focus. Some of it's understanding and figuring out the trail as you go. It's a unique challenge each time. The number of people who have finished a 50 mile foot race based upon the general population is less than one tenth of 1%. It throws you an extremely rare elite portion of our species to be able to cover 50 miles on foot. First time out to this part of the East Coast and first time running a 50 miler. Teddy Roosevelt, a half a century before John F. Kennedy's administration, required his military officers to cover 50 miles on foot in 20 hours or else they lost their jobs. And John F. Kennedy brought it back. He wanted to inspire the citizens of the United States to get fitter, be more vibrant, live healthier lifestyles. He thought it'd be good for all around quality of life and good for the country. So events like this popped up all over the United States and on military bases around the world and held annually every year since 1963. Participants come from all 50 states. They come from abroad, foreign nations. And some people come because it's got this uniqueness, this tie-in with John F. Kennedy. Others because it's a world-class athletic event. JFK 50 Miler holds a special place in my heart. It's the first time I ever ran 50 miles. It has so much history. It is the oldest ultra marathon in the United States. Having both a technical background coupled with having the empathy as a runner to understand how to influence product. So I think that's really, really key. Starts in the town of Boonesboro, which is actually named after Daniel Boone. It finishes in Williamsport. It's three distincts, the mountains, the towpath, and then the road. What are you gonna go across the mountains then? How fast are you going up the towpath? What do you think you got left for the road? If I'm not able to race, my absolute favorite thing to do is crew for my friends who are racing. It'll be my first 50 miler and first time at JFK, so I think I'm excited for both of those things. You sort of know you'll have some ups and downs, so I just hope that I get to the finish line feeling like I kind of put it all out there and had a good race. In trail running, we all start at the same time. We're all together. We're all like in it together. Official time is 6.20, 10 minutes to go to the 2021 JFK 50 mile. Saturday before Thanksgiving each year, it is so rewarding. That race starts exactly at 6.30, atomic clock time. Five seconds. And they're off. The first five and a half miles climbs over a thousand feet. That would be a, a tough enough event. When you get there, we kind of joke, well, it's all downhill from here, but it's only 44.7 miles to the finish line. The races on the East Coast are hard. The terrain is tough. The weather is really fickle. Those are all things that amount to really challenging races. Every trail is different. Like, there's no trail that's the same. I mean, you can't zone out in a section like this. So you really need to think about every foot placement. Do you actually feel like you're starting a journey and then arriving at a destination. Road racing, we're oftentimes trying to hit paces, and on the trails, pace is sort of irrelevant. So you just have to really focus in on that effort piece, so heart rate and breathing and just how things feel. It'll wake you up quick when you start to think you're gonna roll an ankle. It just makes you hyper-focused on the trail. There's so much thought, engineering, design, and collaboration that goes into getting that shoe together. It's a big thing as a runner, like just having shoes that are really good and dependable. I like running in both trail and road shoes. About to start your 26.3 miles. And then you'll have the eight miles on the road. You got this, Kimber! She was cruising. She's fast. <laughs> right here, right here. I chipped like right at the bottom. Like, oh man. I'm pretty sure they caught on camera. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it like, did I go too slow? No, you're step? moving oh, really, smart. really, really smart. smart. Guys. Jared and Kimber both did shoe changes. They both look incredibly focused. They're executing on their plans. It's always really inspiring, whether you're part of the running crew or you're actually supporting and cheering on runners to see runners persevere. You know, it's just a special community. There's nothing like it. It's just a different group of people that care about each other, for sure. It's not just for those at the front of the pack. You connect with other people on the trail, and you might just hook up with them and be kind of running the whole way with them, or you might be going back and forth. 
You know, you're tired at 30 miles, you start talking to the person next to you, you help each other in. It's maintaining that hope that you'll be finished soon. Woo! Pain cave right now. <laughs> Trying to get there. The biggest relief is to just be able to stop running and sit down. He beat his seed by one number. He's going to be eighth. Congratulations, Jared. Representing Brooks Running. Nice job. Jared Bassett, Ben Dorgan, cracked the top 10. Hey, sit down. Oh, oh yeah. That was, a, that was a ride right there. That's why I made it. First 50 miler, there were definitely the like points when I felt great and then for me, I had a pretty hard fade the last 15 miles. At that point, you're just like, okay, gotta keep, just gotta keep moving forward. Only taking six hours to run 50 miles, it's, it's, I still can't wrap my own head, head around it. I'm really happy with how it went. I uh, couldn't uh, ask for much more, really. When you get to the finish and you see that time, a really fun event, I think. Everyone wants to, you know, be competitive, but at the end of the day, it's really the community that makes trail running really, really special. We keep saying 2062 November will be the 100th annual JFK 50 mile. I doubt if I'm around, but one of these younger people hopefully will be, and this race will be going strong still.